Welcome back to my real-life car builds in GTA 5. It's been a while. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the Bifter by BF, and the car that we're going to be creating is the Myers Manx. The original Manx was built all the way back in 1964 by Bruce Myers. Initially designed for desert racing and off-roading, the Manx quickly became adopted for dune racing and became very successful in the late 60s. The Manx is actually a kit car, which is based on the Volkswagen Beetle chassis. It has an open wheel design with a fiberglass body shell, and the original cars used the Volkswagen Beetle flat 4 engine. Its lightweight and compact size makes it very fast and also quite manoeuvrable. There are only 6,000 of the original Manx produced, but due to a failed patent attempt, there have been many copies, so much so that there's an estimated quarter of a million Manx clones out on the market. Myers still produces the Manx today with new versions using a Subaru 2.5 litre engine. Although these new dune buggies take advantage of a lot of modern day technology, they still use the same vintage VW chassis. Now in game, obviously the closest thing that we have to the Myers Manx is the Bifter by BF, and you can see that the Bifter is based heavily on the real life car. Anyway, once you've got your hands on a Bifter, we're going to roll it into Los Santos Customs. So as I said, the inspiration for this build is going to be the Myers Manx, and I thought we'd base it off the very first car that Myers built. So the first thing that we're going to do is under chassis, we're going to choose the racing harness. Under exhaust, there's a few good options, but I've gone for the bore side exit exhaust. For the roof, we're going to select the hardtop. For the skirts, I've left this as none, but the options on there are pretty cool if you wanted to do a modern interpretation of the Myers Manx. With a spoiler, I've also left this as none, but of course you could add this as well. Now under the wheels, I've gone for the classic rod, which you can find under muscle or lowrider. And for the wheel color, we're gonna go with frost white. For the tire design, I've gone for some custom tires, but you'd be welcome to leave this off. Now for the primary color, I've gone for blaze red, and this is also the color that I've used for the secondary. It's a bit of a shame that you can't apply a different color to the roof than to the body, because ultimately it would be nice to have a white roof and a red body, just like the original car. But without this option, I've just gone for a plain red look all over. And as usual, just to get the most out of this car, we're gonna max out all the other performance upgrades. And there you have it, the Myers Manx Dune Buggy. Now the Bifter is a pretty quick and nimble car before you've maxed it out, but once you've done all the modifications to it, it is very quick, and that blow off valve sounds pretty cool. I must admit I didn't expect this car to be quite as much fun as it turned out to be. I'm not sure it's going to earn a permanent place in my garage, but it's certainly something to keep in mind if you want a little off-road action. Anyway, let me know what you think about this build. Of course, if you've got a suggestion for a car for me to cover, please leave it in the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you later.